If you've ever wondered what AML stands for, keep watching. Hi, I'm Maren Zarin from Bath and Thompson in Browns Bay, and we're outside the coffee club uh, on a glorious sunny day, and I'm with Sandy Callan from Davenport Harbour Lawyers. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Miran. How are you? I'm terrific. How about yourself? Great. Really enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I've invited Sandy along today to uh, give us a quick chat about AML and what it means to you as a potential buyer or seller in the market today. So AML stands for anti-money laundering and this is an initiative brought in by um, the government a couple of years ago to stop criminals um, essentially coming into the country, buying up luxury goods, namely um, cars, uh, expensive houses, and cleaning their ill-gotten gains uh, by um, buying and, and then on, on selling it. Um, so this, what this really has uh, done for um, all of us is changed uh, the landscape on business transactions. And so your banker, your accountant, your lawyer, your real estate agent now is required by law to um, undergo what we call... Um, uh, a process called uh, AML uh, and making sure that you've got uh, photographic ID, uh, proof of address, an IRD number before the transaction can even start. So these are not things that your lawyer or your real estate agent have imposed on um, you. These are requirements uh, throughout the country on, on every individual. Uh, to make sure that there is no um, question around your identity and, and the source of money that you that you've got, so it's for the it's for the common good. Um, it's here to stay, and what that will mean is that every organisation has a, a different way of approaching this, and they have different requirements. So you may be required to do the same thing four times. Once for your bankers, once for your real estate agent, once for your uh, lawyer and once for your accountant. But as I say, it's for the common good and um, we just really need to embrace this process because um, it isn't going to go away. No, that's right. And uh, particularly for people that have got properties that are under trust or company ownership, uh, that could be a slightly longer process as uh, some agencies are now um, outsourcing that uh, enhanced due diligence and uh, for that reason uh, another company then takes over and um, asks questions about where the orig origin of that money came from to buy that property initially. Um, it's something that we've got to do unfortunately uh, in today's um, legislation and market. Uh, However, we try and make it as easy as possible. Uh, unfortunately, as, as Sandy said, there's, there's four different uh, areas that are involved with AML um, due diligence, and none of them have got together to form a single uh, database that can be shared. So you have to go through that process four times, once with um, your accountant, your lawyer, the real estate agent, and the bank, or your lender. So at the moment, unless we come in with a, um, an identity card of some kind that's chipped, that's got all that information, um, that's what we've got to do. So going forward, if somebody wanted to know more about this whole procedure, um, can they contact you, Sandy? They can. So I'm at uh, Davenport's Harbour Lawyers in uh, 331 Rosedale Road here in the Bays. Um, I'd be delighted, even if you're not sure of what the requirements are, you could phone me there. Um, you can, uh, we, we have a website, uh, so please feel free to, 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 look, to check Davenport's Harbour Lawyers uh, and you'll find me on that website. Cool. Thank you, Sunday. No problem. Thank you.